Good morning, Shield Wall Nation. This is going to be a video on how to camouflage your rifle. But before I even get into this, make sure you go down below and you like, you subscribe, and hit that bell notification because that bell notification notifies you when I upload a video. So let's get into this. So, to really start off, and to kind of break it down, why would you want to camouflage your rifle? It's the same thing as why you want to camouflage yourself. So, you are harder to be seen. You're not invisible. You won't be able to dance around someone because you're camouflaged. You will just be harder to be seen within your environment. And that's the same thing for your rifle. So, the eyes of a deer or anything that you may be hunting, is camouflage and can't automatically bam pick it up so that's why we break we try to break away, um break apart the solid color of our rifle so once we do that and we have it broken down with our camouflage uh colored of our surroundings it then makes it harder to see so what do you want to camouflage you really want to camouflage everything that's on this rifle but make sure you keep in mind Keep in mind of things that you may take off and you keep putting on different rifles. So you don't want to necessarily paint that because then it may not look right on another rifle. Especially if you camouflage that other rifle to a different color. So keep that in mind. So now let's go and take a look at my rifle and the, the equipment that I have that I need to prepare uh, in order to do this, uh, this camouflaging of this rifle. So as you can see, this is the equipment I have set up in order to paint my rifle. Now, as you can see right here, I got my rifle, obviously. Now I got the paints I have here. That's um, tan, black, brown, and green. I got my grocery bag here so I can put inside of the magazine well. I got a netting for additional textured um, pattern. I got my masking tape, and I got my scraping tool. So let me show you better of what I've um, currently taped off. As you can see, right now I have the serial number taped off. So in case I need to reference it whenever it's asked of, if legally I need to, I can actually see it and it's not covered in paint. The magazine, well, I shoved those plastic bags up there so nothing can get in there. Then I also taped it off to, for extra security. Here, for the, mag, or for the trigger well, I did tape that off as well because you don't want any paint getting up into the trigger mechanism and then really kind of screwing up your, uh, um, your trigger and your trigger squeeze and possibly having to then re, uh, replace your trigger. Even though it won't be a bad idea, maybe it's not an expense you want to necessarily do right away. The other thing I have painted, as you can see, is the iron sights. <clears throat> I painted the iron sights so that it won't in, uh, affect any of my shooting when I'm actually using them. Also, I did paint the hole in which the tool goes in in order to tighten it down so I'm not struggling with getting an Allen wrench in there. As you can see right here just around my optic um, is the windage so um, I can actually see the numbers and I know exactly which one I need to put it on and or sorry is elevation and so, uh, so I know which one to then put it on when I need to change it and not have to guess because I just painted over it. And going down or up the rifle, I did the same thing as the iron sight right there is where the tools go in. I don't want the tools to have to struggle through paint and completely slow down my process of tightening it down or in fact impeding me entirely from tightening it down. Also, you can tell I also did the same thing with the iron sights. Take them over so you can actually use your iron sights. 
Now, this is taping over where this connects is for my lights. It's my light connector. I don't want paint to get on there to disrupt the connection between there and here. This magnetic, as I'll put it right there, it's magnetic. So that goes to my little my little switch, pressure switch, goes to there, turns on the light. Don't want any paint to get in there to disrupt the connection between the two. And then I also have the lens duct taped or uh, masking taped. And in here I shoved a um, Q-tip with some toilet paper. You can't really see. Let's get it focused. Come on. Let's see. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to just put down a base coat. Some say, some people may say you don't need to prime it. I'm just going to prime it with the color I want to show the least, which will most likely be the tan because there's not a lot of tan. As you can see outside here, there's not too much tan. So I'm gonna to try to match it. So you see the little bits of light. So tan will represent light. So I'm gonna first start off with a light coating of tan all over the, all over the, uh, the rifle. Okay, so now I'm going to actually let this dry for a little bit and then I'm going to apply my second coating of another color. Okay, now the next color I'm actually going to paint is brown because once again that is the second least of color I can see in my foreground. So I'm going to go in diagonals to break up this pattern. So I'm just going to plug in. Okay, so next I'm going to apply, liberally apply green. Because that's the majority, as you see in the background, that's the majority of what is back there. Now what I'm going to do is get the net, cover it, and 
use this to break up the pattern. Once again, I want to add tan to kind of emulate the sun breaking through the, uh, the foliage. So. Now, as you can see, you can see a little bit of pattern there. And then once again, to get more green on there, I'm gonna do it one more time with green, but also keeping the pattern. Uh, this little mesh pattern going on. And see what I'm doing is I'm just doing little finishing touches where I think it needs to be. So I'm gonna grab, once again, I'm gonna grab the netting. I want to add more hand here. Just kind of like that. Just kind of like that. Okay, so there you have it, folks. I'm gonna get this one done. And that's, that's it. You got some greens, you got some, got all the little bits of color in there that actually matches my surrounding areas. That's one thing you gotta consider is your surrounding area. So, if you have any other questions, what next video I'm gonna actually put out is gonna be more of a camouflage video as well. So, stay tuned for that. And it may not be tomorrow, but it'll be another video. That is actually going to be the next step to camouflage. So, stay strong, stay resilient, shield wall up.